Hey Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're just going to do a quick simple script on how to create a hotkey that needs to be double tapped. This is the code right here, and I actually found this on Reddit. I thought it was really cool. I've never had a need to do something like this, uh, but maybe you do. Maybe I'll use it in the future. Who knows? But credit really goes to this username. I am not saying that username, so we're just going to call him Baffy. Um, so thanks to him. He's a great person on there. Does a lot of really great scripts. He's uh, really big into functions for sure. So I like that. Definitely make the transition from version 1 to version 2 for anybody a lot easier. Uh, so this script though is running as version 1 auto hotkeys. And I took his code. I made a few tiny adjustments just to show you kind of some of the flexibility if you want it. So the first thing I'm doing is set title match mode, and that's just saying when I have an active window targeted or, you know, whatever, it's going to only look at part of the name. That way I don't need the full name of the window. So for example here, we're just going to be using Chrome. Obviously Chrome has a lot more in the name than just Chrome. Uh, for example here, it just says new tab. Um, but let's see, like if we go to a random website here, we'll go to airplane stuff. You see how the name right there is like, it's, you know, geo zone map, blah, 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 blah. We don't want to have to have that in there every time, unless you want to, then you can do that. It's up to you. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to be using tab here as our hotkey. Obviously you can change this to whatever you want and it's going to call upon, you push it once. It's going to call upon this function, which is here. And we're just doing a few things here. We're setting uh, this value to zero. Um, and it's going to say if a tick, which is basically counting in uh, milliseconds, I believe, yep, is uh, minus last. And basically, if it's 500 milliseconds or less, meaning you tapped it twice within 500 milliseconds, you know, perform the uh, action. If not, that means you're probably not actually trying to hit tab twice. Uh, if you're a little bit slower, maybe you, you want to have it slower, you can always increase this number to like one second, meaning, hey, if I push tab within one second of the last time I pushed it, go ahead and perform the action. For me, 500 milliseconds worked perfectly, but obviously you can adjust it uh, if you're a little bit slower at hitting keys like that. So if, you know, everything equals true here, it was double tapped within uh, that time, it's going to just display a message box. And here's where you're going to be putting your code. What action do you want to be performed when you double tap? So for me, I'm just using a message box because it's a visual, but here's where you're going to be replacing your code. And then we're going to set last right back to zero because we just did it. So now we need to start watching again, basically is a good way to explain it. But if we do not hit tab within that 500 milliseconds, it's going to hit this else and it's going to do last and it's just going to get the count from you know, how long it's been since you've hit that tab. Then we just got a return. And the other thing I'm doing is since I did the win active up here for Chrome, I do need to close it out down here with another hashtag or pound sign, depending on your generation there, uh, if win active. So a very simple script, but adds so much flexibility to your scripts. That way you can continue using your tab as you normally would but then also have the option to have it as a hotkey, which is a really cool idea. So we're going to go ahead and run this, and we'll see this in action. Oh, I already had it running. So I'm going to be here in Notepad. So obviously, this should only work in Chrome. If you want it to work everywhere, you can obviously delete this line and this line. You won't need it. And if you're deleting those, you can also delete this line too. Um, but yeah, so we're in Notepad. Obviously, it's not Chrome. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to push Tab. See, I'm going to double tap tab. Nothing happened. It worked how it normally would. But now let's jump over to Chrome here. So I'm going to push tab twice. And there we go. We got a little message box saying working. Now let's do that a little bit slower. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to push tab. I'm going to wait like a second. I'm going to push tab again. As you see, nothing happened because I didn't push it twice within that 500 milliseconds or whatever you change it to. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this. Hopefully it's helpful. I could definitely see myself enjoying using this, especially with like the caps lock. Uh, that way I can still use the caps lock if I need it. But, you know, how often are we really using the caps lock? 
But that way I still have the functionality of it, but I can still use it as a hotkey. That's, I think, where I'm really going to be using it for in the future at some point. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or any way you think this could be expanded on to be even, you know, cooler than it already is, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. I'm throwing you guys one, two videos, sometimes three videos every week on automating your job, your life, and even gaming. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.